deep in the wild savanna of eastern Africa, right at the foot of the great mountain, lives a young pangolin going by the name Pango. Pango lives in the burrow, a small cosy home with Papa, Mama, Kaka and a host of family friends. Every school day, Pango loves to go on walks and always takes a long journey there every day, crossing forests, caves and rivers along the way. Today after school, Pango wants to go and play at the lake with friends. So, later that evening, Pango ran all the way to Lake Michelson. The lake was where everyone loved to hang out. All of Pango's schoolmates were there. Kobe, Tembo and Twigger were also there. Even Pango's dearest friend, Jumbiri, was at the lake too. And just as Pango was having fun, a huge shadow crept up from behind. It was none other than Bill the Bully. Everyone was always scared of Bill. Look at this weirdo. What are you supposed to be? Bill huffed and puffed. Pango was scared and couldn't reply. As a centre of attention now, poor Pango rolled into a bowl while Bill's voice kept getting deeper and closer. I asked you, what are you supposed to be, little weirdo? Bill asked again. Everything felt cold, dark and silent. And out of sheer panic and fright, Pango ran. Pango ran and rolled down the hill as fast as possible while the voice of Bill's laughter echoed in the wind. Pango! Pango! A worried Timbiri tried to call out. But Pango had already disappeared in the grass, deep into the wilderness. Pango wanted to run to the far ends of it and hide away from everyone. Eventually, it was the famous cliff spot overlooking home where Pango stopped and felt safer. Sitting alone, Pango asked in a sad tone, Why were they laughing? Do I look bad? What am I supposed to be? A friendly voice from behind whispered to Pango in response. You're a pangolin, my child. Pango could recognise the soothing voice of Papa from anywhere. What's a pangolin, Papa? Pango asked. Hmm, well... A pangolin is the most unique animal in the world, my child. Your skin, scales and nature makes you different. We are like the dragons of the wilderness, only prettier. This thought filled Pango's heart with joy as they headed home that evening. Like dragons, Pango whispered with joyous enthusiasm. <laughs> Yes, my child, yes, but prettier, Papa added. As the sun set on the wild savanna, Pango and Papa got home just in time for dinner, marking the end of day and a slow beginning of the night. Send the spirit of Pango to your young ones today by ordering the digital book. Available everywhere.